I'm sure you've heard the saying that success is a lousy teacher. Well, today I thought I would try failure to show you a little bit about makeup application and what to do and what not to do. When I was young, I thought that lining my eyes underneath made me look really hot. It didn't then, and it certainly doesn't now. <laughs> oh my, this is really a bad uh, makeup from start to finish. The tone of my face is more brown. I put the scarf on for another reason, to show you how a, t a scarf tied in a bulky way in a wrong color can really make you look pounds and pounds heavier. But I also wanted to show you now my face is all red, but the brownish color that I have on my face, it's actually a um, shadow, you know, when they do the contouring, it's sort of brown because I don't own any makeup that brown, but the face and the bodice should match. So if you're matching your makeup and you wear makeup, heavy makeup for whatever reason, and you just have a line here, you can avoid that if the makeup you choose matches here. So you appear to be all one person. But um, as I've gotten older, I wear less and less makeup. I use Absolu in one of the lightest colors that they have. And I just put it near the center of my face and blend it out with a brush a little bit because around here is always darker as we age and here is darker. Now, let's talk about the eyebrows. They are too dark. They are too thin and they are too arched. No tails. The eyeshadow is too shiny, shimmery. It is swept out too far on the edges. It shouldn't go lower than the corner of your eye. And this line underneath, I never put mascara, I never put a line on the bottom part. I line the tear, the water line under my eyelashes with dark liner. That's also from Lancome. And then I put a dark shadow at the base of my eyelashes and then I put mascara on it. So I never line, I never do anything down here because that gives me a harsh look. And it draws my face down. As you get older, you want to lift the eye up. So, um, softer colors on your eyes, no shimmer. If you do shimmer, it should be right down here at the base of your eye uh, lashes, not up on your brow bone because shimmery wrinkles are just not a good look. No, not at all. Too much mascara is frightening on an older woman. It's just not what we need to be doing. It's too harsh. It's too dramatic, and our, the rest of our coloring is softer, so our makeup and mascara and liner, everything should be softer so that it is in harmony with what we are doing already with growing older and more ladylike as days go by. The other thing that I did wrong here was put my blush on. You know how they say, make a big smile and put it on the apple of your cheek. Well, when you're no longer smiling, that apple is down here somewhere. So you end up with this funny reddish apple down on your cheek when actually you should just put a nice subtle blending of a peach color or a rose color that's softer that lights up here. Now this brings to attention this horrible foundation, uh, what is it called, concealer that I put all under my eyes. And if you could see really closely, you'd see that it highlights all my wrinkles and creases and makes my lash lines oh so much more obvious. So I don't use concealer because I've never quite mastered it. But if I did, I would just put it in the corners of my eye where we tend to be darker because the skin is getting thinner and the blood vessels are showing through. Um, Putting it all right here just kind of highlights puffiness and makes it more so. What's next? Lipstick and lip liner. I used a brownish lip liner. 
you know. Um, and I used a peachy flame colored red shiny shimmery lipstick, which is probably on my teeth by now. That's another thing I never do. Um, blot it and don't use a liner that's a different color. Never ever darker than the color of your lips or the color of the lipstick you're going to wear. And then blot it carefully so that you aren't getting kisses on your glasses or on people's clothes. Not a good look. So um, pretty much that's what you shouldn't do. <laughs> I'll do a blog post to show you how I normally do my makeup. And you can find it at SusanAfter60.com later on today. And just come by and visit anytime. If it's not, if you're seeing this video on another day, it'll be under um, Living Well, Health, Beauty, something like that. But my blog has all kinds of experiences and examples of when I get it right and sometimes when I get it wrong. So. I'm Susan from SusanAfter60.com. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful holiday. Bye.